Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Abhinav Chakthibel. And in this video, we're going to refactor some of the existing code that we have written. Um, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead. And so, yes, so let's, the first kind of optimization that we want to do is, is optimizing this particular thing because I don't like a method that has uh, four parameters. Um, so if, if we improve, Let's say tomorrow we, we you know add more middle name and and stuff like that. Uh, it gets become more complex, right? So we don't want to do that. Uh, so we want to first avoid this. In order to do that, let's go ahead and create a new uh, directory called as let's say um, uh, interfaces because we want to de define the skeleton for it, right? So, uh, so oh, sorry, uh, delete it. Uh, new uh, directory uh, interfaces or whatever directory is what I give, so maybe not accepting the name. Mm, so let's call it as yeah, let's call it as test data because all these things are going to be there. Um, so let's call it as orange HRM. So this is a website that deals with orange HRM. So orange HRM interface. So all the types we want to define it here. Um, and let's first create an interface. Uh, let's call it as employee details because we're going to store employee details in it. And uh, it has only these four. Let's remove all the other stuff. Good. Now let's also create one more file called as random.ts which basically going to help us generating random value for this. So, so we're going to have a method called as get uh, random employee details, something like this, right? Same function, right? Um, hey, this don't have to be a single, it can be just function. So um, now um, what I want to do is basically um, return um, and then so if I just define the type here it should be of type employee details now e, yeah so now it should suggest all these things um, but then we want to randomly generate values let's go ahead and use faker for this again guys faker is a very popular library we have used it in Java it's also available in um, uh, JavaScript or node ecosystem. So let's go ahead and uh, install it. And let's see the usages. So basically we want to, uh, uh, you know, import it like this, okay? And then we can simply use uh, faker dot person dot. Uh, so instead of this, uh, maybe I'll just remove all this. So the autopilot will suggest, uh, I don't, this is suggesting name, but it should be a uh, person because it's been deprecated. Uh, middle name, last name, uh, employee ID. So employee ID can be from number. Um, and then uh, what should I use? So integer, minimum and maximum. So let's use integer and then let's say thousand, let's say thousand. Okay. It's more than enough, right? So. Good. This is middle name. There is no middle name. You have a middle name. Okay. So all good here. And uh, let's go to the uh, method and let's replace this with employee details. Employee details. Employee details. Right. And then I just need to remove all these things. So, um, you know, basically, it will suggest all the main dot. And then this should be, there is no email. Okay, first name. Lock. So, this is why we need to uh, carefully see what creates. So, this is middle name, middle name, text. And then this is what it is. Sorry, this is middle. And here 
ID text box, employee details dot employee ID. Right, all good here. Let's go ahead and remove all these things and then just call it get a random random dot ts. We need to export it, uh, otherwise, we cannot use it. Uh, get random employee details. Right now, all looks good. Um, similarly, we could do other refactoring as well, right? So now, this this line can be can be optimized. For example, if this login method uh, returns returns a new home page, and then calls the page. Sorry, this dot page. We don't need it. Okay. So now this is returning this. So let's go ahead and remove this and let's say const from page right that's it uh we could not optimize anything here um again uh, this home page we do not know which page it will return again there are ways that we could uh, you know use generics and all that but let's keep things simple so we can create uh instance whenever required like this if you can you can optimize like this otherwise you can also avoid it uh you know the the kind of complexity that it will bring just to save a couple of uh, uh, lines is, is not really worth it. So, so all looks good here. Let's try to run the test and see how it works. Um, and let's remove this um, npm run test. So yeah, basically it works. Um, then it should click on save button. Get a tailor, but then do not know why it is waiting for what it is waiting for. Let's go ahead, check. So it says ID. Okay, so there might be some mistakes why it created this ID object. Um, I do not know. Okay, let's go ahead and check inspect. Okay, I think the the locator is wrong for this. Previously, we had a different locator. Um, let me just gather the locator. So, uh, this is the locator. Um, tenth of four. Again, this is not a great locator. At the end of the series, I'll also tell you guys how to create a React, React framework and how we could improve these locators. Let's say we can go ahead and create a new, um, you know, placeholder for this, or we could, uh, you know, create an area label for this so that we could interact this with the element without using this nth label and all that. So, so I'll, I'll cover that at the end, uh, you know, how we could, let's say if you have uh, access to your front end code, how we could make these kind of changes so that you could also, um, you know, make the changes by yourself instead of depending on, hey, developer, can you change this locator for me? I cannot find it in the tool. Not good. You can change it by yourself, right? So that's all about it. Um, let's go to the spec file. And if you notice, there is something that I don't like here. One, this relative parts are so confusing. Um, and we could, for example, this, look at, look at this. This is coming from playwright test, very neat we could also do something similar for this. So in order to do that, let's create a new, um, not the class, so let's create a new file called as uh, tsconfig.json. Uh, and, and then we could say there is a compiler options. And inside this, um, we don't need any of that. There is something called as parts. And uh, in the parts, you could say SRC as this, and uh, we could also say test is this, uh, not this one, pages. So pages dash stop, and then you can do this. Now, what it helps you to do is, um, instead of using uh, wherever you are starting from SRC, but we don't have an SRC itself, so we don't need this. Um, we have tests, yes, we have tests here, but we normally don't use tests. So we need pages, and the second one is we need from. Sorry, guys. So we need from E to E slash talk, E to E. 
So now instead of this, so it's suggesting you replace with E to E framework config, right? So again, uh, this we could also say at the rate. Mm, so right. Oh, sorry. So this is going to refer to this. And now we we'll so Similarly, I'll go ahead and replace this. Now for the pages, I do not know why it is not showing. Um, but what I can do is I can simply say at the rate e to e is active. Okay, I understood the problem. So the problem is it should be e to e slash pages, right? And then uh At the rate pages, we go here. At the rate pages, right? So you could also replace this. So similarly, you could do this for the other files, um, and then it most basically it will tell you all this. Thing. So E to E framework config env, and this also looks good. Um, we have optimized this. Um, this is fine, right? This is based upon your needs. You can pass. Um, and then, yeah, we have a session. Everything looks good. So let's commit this code, particular code. So uh, add a create employee test with page of the form or just UAM, right? Let's do a commit. So we, we got some errors and this is because the formatting is not right. So this is good, right? So uh, whatever we have done, it's, it's helping us. Um, let's close this um, and then npm, not this one, npm run format colon fix. Okay, so now let's try to do the commit. Yeah, so let's also push the code so you guys can basically, um, you know, refer to this. I mean, you can find my code here in the GitHub. Uh, GitHub, I'm going to check the way, and you can find it here, right? Playwright TS, RSSR website, YouTube, and this is the one. So we have to create README and all that. Uh, I will do that offline. Um, I don't want to. Okay, my ID got stuck, but anyways, I'll push the code. Uh, thanks, everyone. See you guys. Bye.